Now, some, sometimes it's easier to write than to talk, and I know that. And, and come on up, you don't have to give a speech, any of you. Don't worry about that. No one's, no, but I just want people to hear a little bit from your mouth, just what happened a little bit, what, what was going on on, uh, on Friday night. Now, do you want to tell us your name, honey? Sierra. Sierra? Yes. Turn it up. Go ahead, Sierra. Okay. So, last, or Friday and Thursday night were the nights that I went, and I just feel that, like, any barriers that were there were broken because everyone was just praising God and under the anointings of God and um, although we had our fun we had our praise time also and that just was life changing because everyone's telling me how they're changed for the better and it's just really touched me and made me realize that we actually have a future and are not going to be like under sin and whatnot. My name is Larice, and I was at I mean, in the underground for the whole week, and I've been a lot to a lot of these conferences, and I've never seen anything like that in my life. Like some whatever was holding everybody back by Friday night, everyone was at the front with their hands up. We were all touched by God. And it was the most amazing feeling I felt in a long time, and I wish everybody could experience something like that because it's amazing. Hi, um, my name is Olivia, and I just recently got back from a mission trip in Mexico, and God moved so strongly there, and I saw Him in like He moved people's hearts and He healed people. I saw a paralyzed lady walk brain tumor disappear and many people ask God into their lives but then like when I got back I realized that I didn't, I felt so distant from him and then uh, the past few nights uh, um, the, in the underground you just feel connecting with God and I feel that he said oh I've always been with you but you've just been ignoring me it's because it's so busy our lives here in Canada and like, <laughs> it's just, he changed my life. He showed me that there's a purpose and plan for my life yeah. and that, that yeah. his way is the best way. Yeah. And my friend. I want to know how old each of you are, hon. Is that all right, Sarah? I'm 15, 16, 14, 12. Well, here we go. This is awesome. Uh, my name is Zach, and I went to the underground um, Wednesday and Friday night, and I feel it was a lifetime, a uh, life-changing experience, and God really touched my heart. Um, and I haven't cried in a long time, and then when I was there, I started crying a lot. So. <laughs> Hi, I'm Joshua. I'm 12. And I went to the service on Wednesday and Friday. And on Wednesday, I had seen plenty of people be put on the ground for witnessing what God has done to them. And then on Friday, it was my turn. <laughs> and I really felt the Lord's presence in me. And like, that's only happened to me one time before in the underground with Pastor Priscilla. And then again, it happened again. And before, every night I would pray. But when I woke up, I would just get on with my life. And now I praise God for letting me live another day. Honestly. Now, those of you who have been in the ministry or those of you who have been in education or worked with children in any setting would realize that ministering to kids of a wide age group like this is something you're told you can't do. You have to break them down because a 14, 15, 16 year old doesn't want to be around a 7, 8, or 9 year old. They're like that. And that, that's not a slam. You have, different, you have different worlds you live in. 
But I am so thrilled that God brought to us Pastor Joe who could take and minister the word in such a way that these kids together could experience the glory of the Lord. And I love the fact that these little ones, littler, you're not, you're, you're big kids. <laughs> They're able to look up and see a 15 and 16 year old getting blessed with the Spirit of God. That's a great affirming thing for a child. And these kids and teenagers sometimes can go through tough times and say, what I'm experiencing, I want and I wish I could have experienced at this age. So it's a wonderful unifying thing, so I'm thankful for it. All right, sweetheart. Rihanna, go ahead. Um, I'm Rihanna, and I'm seven. I've been there for the whole week, and God showed me that there is no one like Him. He is more powerful, and with Him by my side, I can do anything. Yeah. <laughs> the service tonight. Yes. Pastor Joe is not going to be here, but that's all right. God is here. Amen. And here's an interesting thing. Person. Idea. Concept. Okay. Well, we got a, we got a great program uh, going on for tonight at 6.30. We got Worship the Word, and uh, we're expecting God to do some great things. So don't not come because you think Joe's not here. That's what I like to say. And I kind of look like Joe, so... Actually, just a little better looking. That's okay. Um, no, I, I, I believe that the Lord is going to really use Pastor Jason to minister to these kids tonight. A unique setting and a unique arrangement tonight uh, to have our youth pastor minister to these, not only the youth, but the children. But tonight, so you don't want to miss it. Amen? Children, if you're in the service this morning, the younger ones, you can may just be dismissed at this point to go to your classes. God bless you. Thank you for being here. Let me say as well, if you're visiting today, we are so delighted you're here. Welcome home. You don't realize it yet, but this is home, okay? This is the home that you haven't found yet if you've been looking for one. And uh, we're so delighted you're here. Come and join us every and any Lord's Day morning that you're able to be here. And God is doing marvelous things in this house and unique things. Uh, our, not, our desire is not to pull somebody away from another house. Our desire is not to minimize what God is doing somewhere else. But our desire is to maximize whatever God wants to do here. Amen. Whatever He wants to do here, that's fine with us. We're going to allow Him to do it. And if we can be a blessing or encouragement to you or help in any way, please call on us. Uh, we, our staff, our ministry team will in some way try to help you. Wow, wow, wow. Amen? We have had, as I said, an absolute extraordinary week. And a part of this week, a huge and integral part of this week, have been three men who, as I said on Friday night, they sing what the Lord is saying. They don't just don't sing songs. They don't just get up, perform, do their thing and sit down and hope to impress somebody. They sing the song of the Lord like no one else.